For quite a while people have envisioned what life might be like in other universes because of the James Webb Space Telescope, the most remarkable telescope in existence. That question can at last be answered. While noticing the nearest star framework to us, Proxima Centauri, which is just four light years away, researchers have seen several unconventional irregularities from one of the planets in the framework, Proxima b. These oddities, called fake lights, have confused the best minds in mainstream researchers. But what are they? Do these lights recommend the presence of smart life on the planet? Go along with us as we investigate James Webb's startling disclosure of city lights that change everything. The main life that we are presently mindful of is on Earth. Since the start of development, individuals have addressed whether there is life somewhere else in the universe. To do such an interstellar hunt, American cosmologists Jill Tarter and Thomas Pearson sent off the quest for extraterrestrial knowledge, SETI project in 1984. The not-for-profit's objective is to assemble space-borne radio transmissions. Radio waves can travel farther and are along these lines bound to be recognized by the 42 radio telescopes that make up the extraordinary Allen Telescope Cluster in the Californian Fountain Mountains, on the grounds that they are less scattered or ingested than different kinds of radiation. Yet before 30 years, no certain outsider sign has been found. After that, the James Webb Space Telescope progressed in its send-off, supported the journey to look at a scope of distances of unseen planets circling faraway stars. The largest telescope on the planet, which is drifting about one million miles from Earth and furnished with staggeringly delicate detectors, will be utilized. Quite a while back, there were no known planets outside those in our solar system. However, from that point forward, more than 4,000 more planets, additionally alluded to as exoplanets, have been found circling different stars. As per NASA, the universe might contain trillions of exoplanets. The earliest indications of something going on under the surface past our local planet group might be viewed as extraterrestrial vegetation. The Galileo shuttle turned its gear back toward Earth when it was in transit to Jupiter and tracked down a positive sign of the presence of vegetation. The instrument detected the vegetation red edge, a blend of red and infrared lights reflected by plants. For example, a planet like Earth that is canvassed in a wilderness ought to have major areas of strength for an easy-to-identify red edge. The JWST will measure the red edge of faraway Earth-like planets in the tenable zone around stars. They could be significant indications of something going on under the surface in the exoplanet climate. When sunlight crosses a planet star, the JWST might have the option to recognize it as it enters its air. The light's missing frequencies would then be found through spectroscopy, part of molecules and atoms in the air absorb explicit frequencies, making a trademark unique finger impression that the JWST can perceive. This technique might be utilized to decide the composition of the environment and whether life is conceivable. Almost certainly, life could exist on Earth-sized planets with climates like our own, with the prevalence of oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide. By searching for components that aren't usually present, one might have the option to distinguish mechanical life. Chlorocarbons, CFCs, created for use in refrigeration and cleaning items, would presumably be perceptible to outsider monitoring Earth's environment from a good ways. If the JWST tracked down CFCs in planetary environments, that would be an obvious sign of progressed real life. On exoplanets, it probably won't in any capacity whatsoever look like life on Earth. Sometimes even natural life, like extremophile species, can appear to be alien. This is a gathering of life forms, basically microscopic organisms, that can persevere in conditions where other living things would die. A few people can endure heat up to 250 degrees Fahrenheit, some can endure cold as low as 4 degrees Fahrenheit, and some of them can make do in solid acids with pH levels under 3 while others can be seen as on Earth in where we wouldn't anticipate finding any life whatsoever. Yet since planets like Earth are bound to help life than planets with serious temperatures or parts of circumstances, it very well may be a decent thought to begin with those first. Prime competitors could have temperatures that permit liquid water to exist on their surfaces and circle a steady star. The grouping for our Sun is a yellow G-type star. These stars are more uncommon and naturally have shorter life expectancies in our universe. The probability of considering planets circling around red small stars, which are more frequent and have lower radiance and temperatures than the Sun, is higher. 
there is an additional opportunity for the arrangement of life and advancement to produce complex life structures because these stars have longer life expectancies. Fundamentally around 40 light years away from Earth, the TRAPPIST-1 planetary framework will be the subject of JWST's first mission. It revolves around a quiet red small star with seven Earth-sized rough planets. Three of the rough planets in the supposed livable zone could have liquid water on their surfaces. The TRAPPIST-1 star, regardless of having a much smaller and colder mass than our Sun, emanates light that is similar to that of Earth. Because of the shut circle of its planets, the most obvious opportunity for people to see city life outside the solar system is Proxima Centauri, a red star that is 4.25 light-years from the Sun and our closest star. Proxima is multiple times fainter than the Sun, so that a planet should be multiple times nearer to it than Earth is to the Sun for it to help life because of liquid water. In August 2016, SpaceX experts found a planet with 1.3 times the mass in this tenable region. In a Goldilocks-like zone where the light force is perfect to liquefy water, Proxima b circles Proxima Centauri. It's conceivable that Proxima b is an airless, dormant planet, considering that it circles its red small star Proxima Centauri at a distance of just 46 million miles. The planet Proxima b is in a close circle that opens it to solid sunlight-based breezes that can completely annihilate its air. It additionally provides enough sunlight for temperatures and liquid water that are like those on Earth due to its closeness to the star. Proxima b is believed to be tightly locked, continuously showing a similar side to the star as the Moon truly does in reference to Earth. Proxima Centauri is around 18% the mass of the Sun and consumes undeniably less bright. This makes it challenging for a planet to sustain life. However, the possibility of life on Proxima b cannot be ruled out entirely. Its proximity to its star means it receives about 65% of the energy that Earth receives from the Sun. Despite being potentially habitable in terms of temperature and water presence, Proxima b presents several challenges. Being tidally locked means one side of the planet constantly faces the star, while the other side is in perpetual darkness. This results in extreme temperature differences between the two sides, making it difficult for life to thrive unless there are mechanisms to distribute heat. Moreover, Proxima Centauri emits high levels of X-rays and ultraviolet radiation, which can be harmful to potential life on Proxima b unless the planet has a protective atmosphere or magnetic field similar to Earth's. Scientists are keen to understand if such protective measures exist on Proxima b. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, plays a crucial role in exploring planets like Proxima b. Its advanced instruments are designed to detect atmospheric compositions by analyzing the light that passes through or reflects off these planets. This method, known as spectroscopy, helps scientists determine if there are gases like oxygen, water vapor, and methane in the atmosphere, which are indicators of potential habitability. The search for extraterrestrial life extends beyond Proxima b. The TRAPPIST-1 system, for instance, with its seven Earth-sized planets, three of which are in the habitable zone, offers another promising target for JWST's observations. These planets orbit a cool, red dwarf star, making them more accessible for studying potential signs of life due to their favorable conditions for liquid water. Beyond individual planets, the JWST also aims to study the broader implications of discovering life elsewhere in the universe. It could provide insights into the prevalence of life-supporting conditions on Earth-like planets and help refine our understanding of planetary formation and evolution. While the JWST excels in detecting signs of life indirectly through atmospheric analysis, future telescopes may employ more direct methods, such as imaging, to potentially capture visual evidence of life forms or their activities on distant planets. This evolution in observational capabilities holds promise for unraveling the mysteries of extraterrestrial life in the coming decades. In summary, the JWST stands at the forefront of humanity's quest to understand our place in the universe by probing the potential for life beyond Earth. Its discoveries on planets like Proxima b and Trappist, one not only push the boundaries of scientific knowledge but also fuel our imagination about the diversity and possibility of life in the cosmos. Proxima b, despite its challenges, presents a tantalizing opportunity for scientists to study a potentially habitable exoplanet.
its proximity to Earth and the fact that it orbits within the habitable zone of Proxima Centauri make it an ideal candidate for investigation. The habitable zone, also known as the Goldilocks zone, is the region around a star where conditions are just right for liquid water to exist on a planet's surface. However, Proxima B's status as a tidally locked planet poses significant challenges. The side that perpetually faces Proxima Centauri experiences scorching temperatures, while the dark side faces extreme cold. This stark temperature difference could lead to atmospheric instability and other environmental challenges that might hinder the development or sustainability of life as we know it. One key focus of the JWST's mission is to conduct detailed spectroscopic analysis of exoplanet atmospheres, including Proxima b. By studying the light that passes through or reflects off the planet's atmosphere, scientists can identify the presence of gases like oxygen, water vapor, and methane. These gases are crucial because they can indicate biological activity or geological processes that could support life. For instance, the presence of oxygen in an exoplanet's atmosphere, particularly in combination with other gases like methane, could suggest the existence of life forms that produce or consume these gases through biological processes. On Earth, the simultaneous presence of oxygen and methane in our atmosphere is largely attributed to the activities of living organisms. The JWST's sensitivity to infrared light allows it to detect these atmospheric signatures with unprecedented precision. This capability is crucial because it enables scientists to distinguish between different types of gases and their potential origins. For example, methane can be produced by both biological processes, such as by microbes, and non-biological processes, such as volcanic activity. Beyond its scientific goals, the discovery of life, even microbial life, on another planet would have profound implications for humanity. It would revolutionize our understanding of biology, evolution, and the potential for life to exist in diverse environments beyond Earth. It would also pose new philosophical questions about our place in the universe and our relationship with other intelligent or sentient beings. Moreover, the JWST's observations of Proxima b and other exoplanets contribute to our broader understanding of planetary systems and their formation. By studying these distant worlds, scientists can glean insights into how planets evolve over time, what factors influence their habitability, and whether Earth-like conditions are common or rare in the universe. Looking ahead, future generations of telescopes and space missions will build upon the JWST's discoveries. These advancements may include direct imaging of exoplanets, more detailed spectroscopic analysis, and enhanced capabilities for detecting signs of life in planetary atmospheres. Each step forward brings us closer to answering the age-old question. Are we alone in the universe? In conclusion, the JWST represents a pinnacle of human ingenuity and technological achievement, poised to unlock the mysteries of our cosmic neighborhood and potentially rewrite our understanding of life's place in the universe. Its ongoing mission to explore planets like Proxima b is not just a scientific endeavor, but a quest that taps into humanity's deepest curiosity and quest for knowledge about our cosmic origins and destiny.